Horses, because of the synergy that God has given horses, it fine tunes human beings when we ride them. As a child, a love of animals um, was very empowering for me and developed self-confidence and a sense of responsibility. In Compton, there are over 40 warring gangs, and we've lost more than 40 children's lives to these gangs. Each one of our kids is personally touched by these deaths. Many of them have experienced them, seen them, witnessed them firsthand. And so our kids are suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. And uh, it's really difficult for people to understand who don't live in a third world type setting that they do. And most of my friends, I have friends that, I have friends that are dead now. I have friends that are in jail now. I have friends that, you know, that are in negative, that are doing negative things in their life. That that weren't involved in this program, you know, with me, and I could have just just as easily been doing the same things they did, you know. But being back, um, I stayed back here. I stayed focused and kept my kept my mind right. Well, as a real estate broker, I came across this little known area of Compton, an equestrian oasis. And when we got here, my kids actually became Pied Pipers. Um, they would be, bring kids home regularly. Uh, because they were hungry or they had other necessary needs that weren't uh, being taken care of. And we also realized that these kids had nothing to do and no one to give them guidance. Well, I said that if you want to come and ride, you've got to be in school. If you're not in school, we'll get you in school and provide tutoring if you need it. So, the kids said, okay. And we were like, is it that easy? And it was. So what we, we found as time uh, went by, as the kids got older, we found out how tenacious gangs are and how aggressive gangs are because most kids who are socio-economically disadvantaged never leave their, their confines. They never venture out past a mile where they live. And so one of our big things was to take them out of our community and experience the world as we know it. I mean, there's a whole world out there that most kids aren't even aware of. goal is to let them see that there, there are things to do that are fun, that are exciting, that they get a sense of physical achievement and accomplishment, and that they see they have choices in life. Like Randy with this horse, it's so rewarding seeing the relationship he's established with the horse. He just started riding again. He used to ride when he was younger, and I knew him then. But he just started riding again a few weeks ago, and he's already got this relationship uh, with this horse now. And it's going to be really great, because they're going to do good things together. that people don't understand about horses and what we're organizing, but we're trying to mold the entire child. Okay. Well, he's doing pretty good for a little baby. Yeah. Better than a lot of baby horses. He's not really a baby, he's a, he's like, yeah, he is, he's like a little kid. If, if he was a human, he'd be a little, a little toddler. And here is a positive atmosphere. It's the way to get away from all the hustle and bustle out in the streets problems in the home, come out here and enjoy yourself. Do a little work, it doesn't hurt. And just get the, get the horse's energy, which is positive. It's a good feeling, it's a very good feeling. And it's good for young, young people. It makes them understand nature. And that's what, that's what they need in their, in, their, in, their, in their system, is to learn nature and then they understand human life. You know, and they won't be willing to either uh, harm another human being. You know, that's a powerful thing, animals. Animals, yes, they need to be around animals. The main thing it taught me was responsibility. It taught me uh, how to care for animals, you know, how to care for something other than myself. 
Uh, just started from when I was young. Up straight, everybody. Sit up straight. Step back. Head. Look through the ones here. Typically, we have about 50 kids. We, uh, but all of them aren't writing professionally. We have a core group of about 20 kids right now, uh, including the, the little kids who are writing the line up to our advance. Some people ask me where do I get the kids. They knock on the door. I've never solicited for one kid. Never. They just continue to knock on the door. After you pass the green stairs, lean back on your heart. A lot of people are really surprised that the kids have, uh, you know, along with the athleticism, oh, Gary that, um, and they're and really and interested in riding, you know, and they do pretty, pretty good. What are you going to need to um, groom the horse? Uh, a brush. And you ride. What else? A toothpick. Toothpick? A toothpick. Hoof. Hoof pick. Hoof pick. Right. So can you guys find that? Yep. yep. I know find where hoof pick is at. And come on, you guys. You know the class is going to be over before you guys get started. Over the years, we've rescued over 100 horses, and uh, they come abused physically or mentally, spiritually. And the horses provide therapy for the kids, and the kids provide therapy for the horses. So over the years that we've done this, we, our kids have rehabbed these horses and we've had a 100% success rate at placing these horses in homes. Years ago, my son got shot and people asked me, well, why did you stay? You didn't have to stay because, you know, we have the wherewithal to move. But all the kids have become such an extended family that I just couldn't walk away. There are young people now that I started working with in 2000 who are in their early 20s and either have finished college or are, fin are going to college and, and finishing up and I still have a relationship with them and it's just great to see them just blossom. I'm a second year student at Occidental College and I'm working on a, a bachelor's in sociology right now and uh, it's a beautiful thing. We take you in, we put our arms around you, we show you what the ranch life is all about. And uh, you, you come here, express yourself. If anybody's uh, bothering you, here's a safe haven right here in Compton at the Junior Posse Ranch. Come on in. You know, I love coming back here, even if I'm not riding, I just love to come back here and just sit back here, and just watch the horses and just enjoy being around these animals. Uh, it's not a, like I said, it's not an opportunity that a lot of people get, um, especially being from the inner city. There's not when I always, I always tell people, I say, people say you have horses. I say yeah. They say where? I say in Compton. Our goal for this year is to establish the first inner city high school equestrian team. What this will allow us to do is our kids will accumulate points. Uh, competing in high school against other high schools, which will make them eligible to apply for equestrian scholarships. We see dramatic changes in the kids after they've been in our program for a while. One of the things that I found out quite accidentally is that when the kids would come to us, and we deal primarily with young men, they would typically come to us loud and aggressive, and uh, that doesn't work with horses. So they learn the power in being quiet and being still. And this transfers into how they deal with human beings. One thing that we can brag about is that the kids who stay with us for four years or longer, we have a 90% graduation from high school. And when you see young people who say to you, oh, Miss Maisha, why you keep bugging me about coming over here? And they keep coming. And then when they get into adulthood, they say, Hey, Miss Maisha, I'm working and I have a family. Thank you.